I'm going to go over the steps to install the Tosote 12,000 BTU portable air conditioner. This is their Aeolus model. It could be installed in sash windows or sliding windows with an opening a minimum of 9 inches or a maximum of 62 inches. The kit comes with a foam seal with an adhesive on back. If you have sash windows, you'll put this on the top and the bottom of the opening. If you have a sliding window, you'll put this on the sides of the opening. For the sliding window, I'll be putting the foam on the sides. The kit comes with three panels so you can adjust it to your window size. Because the opening on this window is 22 inches, I'm just going to be using one panel and I'll cut this to size. I'll use a hacksaw to cut down the panel. I cut this long enough so it wedges in place in the track. The insect and rain guard will be positioned this direction for a sash window. If you have sliding windows like we have in this installation, you'll position the rain guards in this direction. Snap the rain guard into your panel. There's an exhaust cover that slides into the first groove. Insert your panel into the opening and close your window against it. Because this groove was so deep, I added another layer of foam. The air conditioner comes with a foam seal without adhesive that you'll put between the window panes to stop air movement and insects. The air conditioner comes with a bracket and screws so you can lock the window in place. Attach the two power cord hooks to the back of the unit with the screws that are included. The joint connects to the exhaust hose and the back of the air conditioner. Pull up a short section of the exhaust hose and screw on the joint. Do the same thing on the other side with the rear clip. Attach the joint to the back of the air conditioner. Then you're going to connect the rear clip to the window panel. Raise up your exhaust cover and clip it in place. I'm going to use some of the foam on the bottom and the top to stop any airflow. If you're manually draining the air conditioner, the plug that you would remove is on the back of the unit at the bottom of the air conditioner. You also have the option for continuous draining to a floor drain. You would remove this top cap on the back of the unit and connect your hose. You should clean the filter at least every three months. It's on the back of the unit. You just pull off the panel and remove the filter. You need at least 12 inches of space all around your unit. 